Daryl Dell. Daryl. Miss did a Sunday before last. You were away preaching. Yeah, I was. Sure was. Yeah. Daryl, come here for a second. How you doing? Good. Good. Hey, Aaron. How's it going? Hey, you're okay. Yeah. We have to stay late. I know. How you don't sleep? My buddy's back. My brother's here.
to our service this morning. So glad you joined us today. Let's all stand together and sing 575, leaning on the everlasting arms. Let's all stand together this morning.
to our seniors. We will be going to Mervyn's next Saturday. We're taking the bus. We'll be leaving here at 1030. So please sign up so that we can let Mervyn and Red know how many to expect. Thank you. Good morning. I am here to read a card to you. It says, New Hope Church Friends. Our family wants to thank everyone for the flowers, visits, and prayer, and food. Everything was greatly appreciated. This was so nice of all of you. Loving Christ, the Bill Graham family. All right, just a couple of reminders this morning. Uh, today is our Back to School Sunday. Here in just a couple of minutes, we're going to honor all those going back to school. I know the parents are excited, the kids are not so excited, but it's great to go back to school. School is good. Uh, so we're going to honor them in just a few minutes with a couple of reminders for all you teenagers and those who uh, bought the teenagers for the teen auction this morning. Uh, if you will remember to go ahead and get those jobs done and get those payments to either uh, Sally's and I this morning, but um, Aaron, if you get those payments to her, uh, all those need to be done as soon as possible. And also, um, we have our choir practice night at 545. Okay, so choir, make sure you know that. We're getting ready for our Christmas season coming up here soon. And do remember our website and things. Check it out when you get a chance. Got some uh, uh, some of the updated services on there. I hope you're checking it out. And uh, we've had some great results from it. we checking the stats of that. A lot of viewers coming on, looking at our things and checking us out. So we encourage you to do that. Spread the word about our church. and who we are here at New Hope Baptist Church this morning, okay? So let's take time now to honor... Okay, go ahead and do that now, Pastor. Okay, let's take time to honor all our boys and girls and all those in school. So if you're in kindergarten, all the way up to college, we want you to come and line up across the front of the auditorium this morning, okay? So come down this way, a real quick hustle this morning. Let's come on down here. We're going to honor you guys today, all right? Miss, you got this right here. All of them. Come on. All the way to college. Come on down. Kindergarten, 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 come on, everybody, come on, Nicole, you guys, come on forward. All right, we got a gift for everybody this morning. Kindergarten, kindergarten, come all the way down. I want you all to get a gift here this morning. <laughs> all right, any more this morning? Is that all of them? All right, guys, what we'll do is we'll go down, start with Mr. Jerry here. What you do is give your name, your school you're going to, and what grade you're entering, okay, this year, what grade you're going to, all right? Who wants to start? Who wants to start? Okay. I'm going to Jackson Middle School. Next Give all these young people a round of applause. All right, let's dismiss the kindergarten through third grade. You can go right over there to Mike or Aaron. Why don't you help them right there? All the kindergartens through third grade, you can get a gift from Brother Mike right here, okay? He's got something for you. So grab your gift and head on back to your seat, all right? Kindergarten through third grade. Come on, guys. Go ahead, kindergarten through third. Through third grade. There you go. Grab a gift from Mike. Grab a gift, have a seat. All right, let's do fourth through sixth grade. Fourth through sixth grade, get a notebook there and some pens. Go ahead. And thank you all those who donated these items. We appreciate that so much. All these good our, our young people here going to school. All right, and the rest of you all can go grab a gift there. Grab one on your way out. Thank you so much. Give them a round of applause this morning. And all those students back to school. All right.
getting their things this morning, we're going to take uh, time to do the promotions for the Sunday school. So, as I call your name, would you uh, come up and I'll give you your certificate for your uh, promotion. This is for Allie Worley. He goes in teens. in the back. I will give it to each side uh, coming from the middle to the juniors this year. So let's give that a All right. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to our service this morning. We're just glad you're here. It's a good day. It's a rain again, isn't it? Amen. <laughs> we kind of get used to this here rain in Virginia. And uh, we were driving back from Tennessee, getting the girls in school there. Everything went well, and uh, meet new friends already. So pray for Christy Orange and uh, my daughter as well. Everything went well, and uh, God gave us a good trip coming back. Didn't get into rain until we crossed into Virginia. I guess it only rains in Virginia. I don't know, but uh, here we are. But uh, we. We have a good weekend with them. You pray for the kids as all these boys and girls will start back in school and, and pray that God will uh, bless them. Thank you for helping us with the kids. We have other stuff as well, and we'll give those out, probably give them to the daycare of somebody in need there. So uh, we thank the Lord for that. But uh, we've got some guests here. Brother David Sexton's here today. David's a preacher and uh, with Mission Board. We're glad to have Brother David here with us today. And you, old folk, you folks get to know him, and he's come in, and uh, uh, Brother, Raymond, uh, Brother Raymond Ellis, I guess that's his first name, I don't even know him by his first name, I think that's it, Brother Ellis, uh, is the director, and been many years the director, and he's not in good health, he's a dear friend of ours, and uh, preached for him several times at his uh, meeting, he has a big meeting every year, and has a lot of men come up from the islands, come up, and have they have a big, big meeting, and uh, they said, Brother Ellis, I mean, this is a dear saint of God, dear man of God. Pray for him, uh, that God would touch him and be with him and, uh, and his ailments. And, and I'm going to be calling and find out, but they were just telling me about that and calling and that and that. So we need to pray. We need to pray one of them. Amen. Amen. Uh, be, put, be praying for Miss Reba. I guess many of you got on the call and post about her uh, uh, loved one there. And that is mother-in-law. Is that right? <laughs> and so Nanny and, and Miss... Uh, Betty was telling me 94, almost 95 years of age. That's a good life, isn't it? Amen. And praise God for that. And you and it today, what time today and where? Christmas morning, 6 to 8 tonight at Oakey's North Chapel. North Chapel, Oakey's North Chapel, okay. And so you remember uh, Miss Reed as well, and I pray for her. And we've got other folks that we just need to be mindful about and prayerful about. So, uh, uh, we, we thank the Lord that God's brought us, brought this church through many things in the last few weeks, and uh, we thank we thank God for His goodness. Amen. Amen. He's taking care of us, and we we go through it together. And praise God, He picks us up when we need it. Amen. Amen. And I know He does. And so uh, we've got several folks that called me, said they're going to be out of town. And I guess this is the last final clean for everybody goes back to school, gets back in there. And so we're just going to listen. This is the day the Lord's made. Amen. 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 We're going to rejoice and be glad in it and praise God for it. And I appreciate you coming. Uh, we, uh, we, we, it 
won't be long. We're going to be saying a whole lot more about this in the month of September, but our our tent meeting, our fellowship meeting is just right around the corner. Amen? And we're going to be having it in October. It's going to be October the 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, and then end up on that Sunday there. We'll be telling you a whole lot more about it in the month of September. But really, it's not but eight or nine weeks away, so we're going to have to get on the ball here. And uh, we've got some exciting speakers. We're going to have an old-fashioned day. We're going to have the tent back up just like we had last year. And, uh, boy, we just, we just need good weather. That's all we need. Amen. And we'll eat whether it's inside or outside. Y'all the Baptists got that figured out. Amen. But we want good weather. We had great weather last year. And I'm looking forward to this year as well. We've got many great speakers. And I'll talk to you a little bit more about all that as we go along. So uh, we're excited about it. And I'm hoping we're having a great crowd like we had last year. I had almost 300. I, had, I think we had 297 last year. And uh, hopefully we'll have that get a great crowd like we did uh, last year. But anyway, we, we're just excited about it and have a good time. And let you know about all these good preachers that are coming our way. You, you need to get around a good preaching. Amen. Christ honoring preaching is what we need this day. So I praise God for that. Us, as y'all come on this morning and let's receive the offering and, and I pray that you'll give unto the Lord. Our giving has been there and always gets low during the summer months. And so I hope that you, everybody will recognize that and pick it back up. I know you will. And let's pray that God will take care of us and take care of our finances. He's done so. And so you give unto the Lord as God's blessed you. The tithe is the Lord's, the Bible says. Amen. Amen. It's His. And whether you give it through the church, He'll get it some other way. If you don't give it through the church, He's going to get His tithe. It's His. Amen. And so let's honor Him today and praise Him and thank Him for what He does and give Him. Isn't it wonderful to be able to give back to the Lord Amen. what He's given us? And we, we can't ever pay Him back enough. And, and we ought to thank Him today for what He has given us. And so right. let's go to the Lord in prayer. And Brother Mike, you pray for us and thank the Lord for the offering today. My Lord and my church family, Father, we come to you today. We're thankful for your goodness to us each and every day. We thank you that you love us, Father, with that old cross. Father, we pray that the hey. may be lost today. Lord Jesus, they need you today. Father, they should be. Would they see you in heaven? Lord Jesus, I pray for the offering. That you bless it, Lord, and just use it for the prayer of your kingdom. Whatever it is, we just thank you for your goodness and mercy and pray for the truth today. Pray for your word, Lord, that we just hear from heaven and move in our mind. Lord, our thoughts and our our minds as we can do that for this morning. We pray for the ones who have heard this morning. Yes, sir. Lord Jesus, just help us, Lord. Comfort them as only you can. We love you and thank you and praise you for what you've done and what you're going to do. And I ask it all of you.
And I'm grateful that Loretta's arthritic condition is getting better. Amen. Whether she can play, she comes home in the evening and she plays, she plays at night, she plays in the morning. Folks, she went for years and years and years and couldn't play at all yep. because of her hands and the way the arthritis had taken its toll. Yep. But uh, I'm grateful for them playing today. Yep. Yep. She's a great pianist, a great lady all together. But we're grateful to see you here. Folks, isn't this a good day? Amen. Please, Pastor Benjamin, want to go to the book of Psalms. This is the day which the Lord hath made. Amen. Amen. And he can rejoice because of the goodness and graciousness of the Lord to us all. And to thank God that he permitted us to be in the house of the Lord. My heart goes out to those who could be here and aren't. Amen. Now, I do feel sorry for those who can. A lot of women as well. But uh, thank you so much for coming right now, Sam, the Weathers Fellowship together a minute to do, and then we'll continue on. Mm -hmm.
And I remember living off ramen noodles. I don't know if that's still the case, but we can send them ramen noodles and whatever. But anything you can think of to send, I mean, pens, um, journals, um, maybe even devotional books, anything like that, feel free to see me. And I'm thinking around the 15th of every month to send that. And anybody that's interested in helping me with that, I would love all the help I can get. Maybe one night we can come out here and just put it all together. So just see me after church or any time if you want to help with that. Thing. Let me add to that. that uh, that's so important. I, you know, these kids away from home need our prayers, amen, and need our help. We need to let them know that. Uh, I, uh, yesterday, uh, I, I talked about our girls. Uh, one of the things that were important is they washed their own clothes. And you wouldn't, be, you wouldn't believe how a roll of quarters is so vital in college, amen? amen? And you just can't walk down the street and get a roll of quarters anywhere. So they have to have quarters to put in the machine. It's just like a washing machine in college there. Those are the little things that nobody knows and sees there. So it's really wonderful. And uh, so you think about that. She'll, I, I think she's going to set something up, maybe a box or something for each of them. And you... You get involved in that. I meant to mention as well, we're still going to have, we had uh, everything going on last week. We didn't have the spaghetti dinner. I was going to announce that. We're going to have the spaghetti dinner not next Sunday, but September the 1st, the following Sunday, okay? You can sign up. Uh, I thought about this as well, and I should have mentioned it to detail it a little bit more. Uh, no way in the world we want to bring pressure on those, uh, those of you that have children. And so we're, we're basically we're not charging the kids. You just give with it whatever you like to give, and we're going to help these kids that are going to school here. And so uh, you sign up. They're eight dollars a plate for the adults, okay? And the children, you just do whatever you like to do there, okay? And uh, I, I should have detailed that. We wouldn't dare want to charge all the whole family, especially if you got two, three, four kids. And praise God, that'd be thirty, forty dollars. I, I wouldn't, I didn't, I wouldn't have the heart to do that to you, amen. So we just want you to be involved in it, help it all goes towards them. And so we'll do that not next Sunday, but the next, okay? And we'll, anybody wants to help us with that, you can too as well. All right, go right ahead. If I only 
great song Wednesday night in church Amen. about Calvary and about the cross this morning. You can't get enough about the cross. Amen. 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 And uh, you get thinking about it long enough, it'll make you want to shout. Amen. That's right. I can't get enough of the cross. What was there? Our Savior led to die for our sins. Amen. And we praise God for the cross. I have a message this morning. I just felt like the Lord wanted us to go this direction. I'm in the book of John, chapter 7, this morning. John, chapter 7. And uh, you'll see where we're going when you see the text this morning. John, chapter 7. I'm grateful to have each and every one of you. Several visitors here this morning. We're glad you're here today. And I pray that God will just fill your wagon full this morning Amen. before you leave here. Because we preach Jesus around here. And if he can't get it done, then we, we're at we're a loss. But I know Christ can get it done today. Amen. Whatever your need is, God can fill it today. We'll just listen and be obedient to him today. And so let's look at John chapter 7 this morning. And I'm just going to use this verse number 46. I'm looking at a statement here that the officers were saying, and they were. This was a conversation that was going on with the uh, priest here and the Pharisees in verse 45. Uh, they came to uh, uh, these officers and uh, and they said, in verse 45, why have you not brought him? And the officers said, verse number 46. Look at what it says here. Never a man spake like. This man. I'm preaching on those last two words in verse number 46 this morning. This man. Amen. Never a man spake like this man. Jesus spake like no other man ever spoke. He wasn't just an ordinary man, was he? Amen. The Bible says he was the God man. Amen. He's the mediator between God and man. The man, Christ Jesus. I thank God for the scriptures today, the word of God. As we look at it today, we're going to talk about this man. Oh, it's amazing how you can just go through the pages of the word of God and find out the truths of what God can give you in the word of God. Amen. And find out just as you just, just a few verses here and there around the gospels here and to see the, just the, the magnificent word of God, just, just the, the byways and the highways of God's word as it brings about talking about this man. And I wanted to look at a few things this morning, and when God tells us to quit, we'll just quit. Amen. And uh, let's just pray and bow our heads and ask God to speak to our hearts this morning. Father, thank you for the Word of God. Thank you for being able to be here today. And Lord, we no doubt, Lord, in the last few weeks, we've had, uh, Lord, so many things happen, Lord. And we just need to brag about Jesus today and lift you high. You said if you be lifted up, you'll draw all men to you. And so, Lord, our goal today is just to simply preach Christ and to lift Jesus high and let the Holy Spirit of God do his work, his way, his will in this place today. Lord, you know every heart here today. You know every need in this building today. Lord, we might not know everybody, but, Lord, you do. And so, Lord, I pray that you'll help God's people today. Lord, save the law. Save those that need Christ today. Let them know there's a Savior, Lord, in this building today that can reach down and save souls. So lead and direct. We'll give you praise and we'll give you glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Well, what can you say about this man, dear Lord? I mean the volumes of books. Books, plural, couldn't even be written about this man, the Lord Jesus Christ. You wouldn't be able to talk the rest of your life and be able to fill in all the blanks about this man, the Lord Jesus. I, I tell you, think about what the Bible says about this man. We think about Pilate and what Pilate said. Pilate was the governor. And the Bible says that Pilate said, I find no fault in this man. You hear that? And but, may, may I say for 2,000 years, They've still been trying to condemn him and look for some fault in him, but you can't find any fault in this man. 
Amen? Amen. By the way, this man was the one that went to the cross, uh, innocent and pure and justified and had done nothing wrong. And, and praise God for this man. Never a man spake like this man. This man receiveth sinners. I, I mean, there's so many verses of Scripture as we want to look at them this morning there. First of all, we see something about this man in verse number 46 and chapter number 7. We see something about his conversation, the conversation of this man. And what's going on here is the Pharisees that became uh, uh, interested in, as, in what Jesus was doing. And they came to the officers and they sent the officers to go down there and get Jesus. And they go down there and get him. And they, <laughs> and they didn't know what to think about Jesus. Amen. The officers were asked by Pharisees and, the, and, and all these priests here, these chief priests come upon them, and they said, why have you not brought him? And they said, we ain't never heard a man speak like this man. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Amen. I mean, here, here, here are some Roman soldiers who don't even know the Lord, and yet they're bragging about the Lord. How about that? Isn't that something? It said, never a man spake like this man. And as we look at these verses, you can back... You can look back and see what this man said. We talk about, well, what did he say that was so special? Well, we'll look back. Look back there at verse 37. He begins to talk, and, and we'll see a little bit about what was so special about this man and what, he, what his conversation was all about. The Bible says in verse 37, In the last day, the great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. He that believeth on me, as the scriptures have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. How about that now? In other words, Jesus spake about drinking right here. And he's talking to thirsty souls. Anybody thirsty this morning? Jesus is speaking right here. His conversation is this. If you come and drink at this well, you'll never thirst again. Praise God. Amen. I like the conversation already, don't you? And praise God, if anybody's thirsty today, no matter what you've been going through, no matter what your problem is, uh, he has a drink for you today. And you can drink, and it'll flow freely. Praise God, that drink is eternal life. It's everlasting life. But that woman at the well wanted to drink. And buddy, she's been working, coming every day with them big old pots on her head. I, I wonder sometimes how them ladies walk with them pots on their head. Amen. I mean big old pots on them. They just walk like they ain't nothing to it. Just got them. Pot on top of the head. How they do that? I don't know. I, I, I never, I never be amazed to see how they do something like that. And, but, but they do. They every day they go down there to the well. Every day. But this particular day, that woman at the well, Jesus was sitting at the well. What? Amen. And praise God, Jesus wanted a drink. He had an earthly body, a physical body. He got thirsty just like the rest of us get thirsty. Amen. And Jesus wanted to drink the water. And that woman said, hey, we Jews and Samaritans, we don't even have dealings with one another. And Jesus said, hey, if you drink of this water that I'm talking about, ye shall never thirst again. Amen. How many of you glad to say I took a drink of that drink? Amen. That drink is eternal life. Praise God. Oh, I tell you, whenever you get in a conversation with Jesus uh, and he starts talking about drinking, I believe I take him up on his drink. Amen. Well, glory to God. Amen. Amen. Not only did you talk about drinking, but back up there at verse number, look up there at verse number 30, uh, 33 down there, verse 33. He said, he said here, yet a little while am I with you, but then I will go unto him uh, that sent me. Verse 34, ye shall seek me. And ye shall not find me. And where I am thither, ye cannot come. Well, Jesus is telling them uh, that not only is drinking, that he was telling them about his departing. He says, I'm going back to the Father. And he said the reason why he's going back to the Father, first of all, he's going to accomplish what he came for. And that would be to die on an old rugged cross. Is that right? Amen. Right, right. And he said, I'm going back to the Father. I'm going back to sit down at the throne. On the, and he said, you can't come. He, and they didn't understand all that there. Boy, I mean, this started a ruckus in town there. And all these Pharisees and these high priests and all of them getting all stirred up there. And that's what it begins to say. And, and verse 39, it talks about them drinking of the Spirit there. Verse number 40, he said, many of the people, therefore, when they heard this saying, they said, of the truth, this is of the prophet. Uh, 
And so they're already confused about it. They're trying to figure out who this man is. Amen. This man's talking about departing. And they didn't understand about his departing. And this man's talking about drinking. And they didn't understand about the drink. Amen. They said, well, some of them said he's a prophet. Well, what's a prophet? Y'all know what a prophet is. One that foretells and foresees anything. And uh, Jesus was a prophet. He was a prophet, priest, and king. Amen. Amen. But here, here they're thinking that he's a prophet. Others said, verse 41, 41, this is the Christ. But some said, shall Christ come out of Galilee? And so they're trying to find out if this is the Christ. If this man is the Christ. And, and then they got to the decide, well, uh, if he's the Christ, he's got to come out of Galilee. Now, I mean, he says, have not the scripture said that Christ came from the seed of David? Out of the town of Bethlehem, Bethlehem, where David was, so there was a division among the people because of him. And so they didn't know who he was, or where he come from, or what he was talking about. But the Roman soldiers got it right. Hey, man, they got it right. The priests sent there and sent uh, the soldiers to go get him, and, and the soldiers were supposed to wrap him up and uh, put hold on him there. In other words, they were going to go arrest him, if you will. And then the priest came down and said, Why haven't you got this man? And they said, They said, Never has this man ever spoke like this. I've never heard a man speak like this man can. Amen. I'm going to tell you, his conversation is different than everybody else. Amen. Amen. We ought to thank God for that today. Well, not only that, if that didn't help you, let's look back over here to the book of Luke. Luke chapter 15. Let's look at this. Let's see what this man's all about as we search the scriptures this morning. We see this man's conversation. We not only see his conversation, but in Luke 15, verse 1 and 2. Look at Luke 15 with me real quickly. Y'all got it? Amen. Say amen. amen. Verse 1 says, Then drew near unto all the public here. Then drew near unto him all.